pros and cons of using the areola incision to put implants in. So um, this is uh, the thing about a lot of plastic surgery is that there's no right or wrong. And you will find that some people will use the areola incision, which is a little U at the lower board of the areola. Some people will use the um, armpit incision, transaxillary, and some people use the inframammary incision. And you'll find that some surgeons will use um, a particular incision. And that might be due to training, that might be due to experience, to um, what they're comfortable with and what they felt is to be best. And one of the issues is there's because there are surgeons that use all of them, you can't really say that one is best because otherwise, why does others? Why do other surgeons use the others? So you know, you've got to be a bit wary about someone saying this is the best way to do it, because you think, well, why do the other guys not do it that way if it's not the best way of doing it? So there is no one best way of doing it, and all ways are um, are acceptable. But what I would say is, you need to find someone who, if you've got a preference for a particular incision, find someone who does it regularly and um, and is comfortable with it. Um, I have done quite a lot of stuff through the infra areola incision. I don't routinely put implants through that incision, and I don't use that incision for putting implants in personally. It seems to be popular in America. Don't know why. Don't know why. There might be a reason why, but um, in the UK, it's not very popular, the infra areola incision, at least for putting implants in. And I'll tell you the pros and cons as I see them. But um, I'll, I'll preface that with saying that I don't use it much. So maybe someone who uses it more will be a bit more pro about it than, than me. Um, I tend to use the inframammary incision. So the pros and cons. The pros of the incision is when it heals well, it heals beautifully. And the reason that I know that is because I use it routinely for men. When I do a gynecomastia, I do the same incision. It's like a U shape, the bottom of the areola. And when it heals, it's your, one of my blog posts is something like invisible scarring from gynecomastia or gynecomastia without any scarring. Because when you look at it, you actually can't see any scarring. Now, there is scarring, there is that infra areola incision, but you really can't see it. It's, it heals beautifully. So the pro of it is it is a beautiful scar uh, um, when it heals well. And uh, that is a massive pro. Um, the and that is a big pro. Um, the cons are that the if it doesn't heal well, then you're in trouble because it's on the front, sort of in the nipple, you know, on, uh, you know, your nipples on the front of the breast. Whereas if you have an inframammary or an axillary scar, if it's maybe doesn't heal quite so well, it's a bit more hidden, especially the axillary one. Um, and the other cons for me is that because you're making a u-shaped incision of the areola you are potentially cutting some nerves to the areola so often after breast augmentation people have funny feelings and funny sensations in their breast and in their nipple now if you've used an inframammary incision you haven't actually cut through any breast tissue you've gone inframammary and you've just lifted the breast tissue up and put the implant underneath it so often the uh, sensation will come back to life because you haven't cut any nerves now you're more likely to cut some nerves going to the nipple when you do an infra areola incision so you might have more potential problems with um, sensation of the nipple after an infra areola incision. And also you're cutting through the gland of the breast. You have to cut through the gland of the breast in order to put the implant in. So you're cutting through more glandular tissue. So I worry a little bit about infection and things like that. It's probably not statistically significant. Um, I don't know of studies that have looked at it, but you do have to cut through more breast to put it in through an infra areola incision. But, um, but, the, but the main issues are the two things that I don't, I, or I would worry about is that if you don't get a good scar, it's on the front. It's, it's hard to hide that in, incision and it, it's uh, pot more potential for uh, nipple sensation issues. So that's why I don't do it. And I use an inframammary scar and I've you know, got good experience with that. But I, but it's, you know, it's a perfectly reasonable way to do it. And if you want it done that way, then you can have it done that way. But find someone who's familiar with it and comfortable with doing it that way. Um,